Our little one's big emotions can be really difficult to respond to. They quickly become frustrated, overwhelmed, angry, and because they don't have the ability to regulate their emotions or communicate their feelings effectively, an emotional outburst occurs. And it can be really difficult for us to stay calm because often in our eyes, their meltdown or tantrum appears to be completely irrational. So if you're finding it difficult to stay calm, here are five tips for you to try next time your little one is struggling with their emotions. Number one, and that's acknowledge the fact that your child's behavior isn't personal. As parents, it's so easy to assume that our child's behavior is a reflection of us and our parenting. But just remember that your child is learning and developing every single day. They haven't yet got the sufficient brain development to regulate those big emotions and they don't have the language to communicate their feelings effectively. But just remember, they will get there. Number two, and that's find your pause. This is far easier said than done, but by developing the ability to take a step back, you open up that window of time to rationalize your child's behavior and therefore you have a better chance of responding positively rather than reacting quickly and negatively to your child's behavior. Number three, and that's save the lecture for later. Naturally, as parents, during the height of an emotional outburst, we want to teach our child right from wrong, but we must remember when our child is completely dysregulated, they don't have the ability to access the part of their brain responsible for logical thinking. So by saving that lecture or chat for later, there's far more chance of that chat registering with our child. Number four, and this feeds into number three, and that's appreciating the importance of our calming presence. Much like when an adult is having a panic attack, our calming presence reduces that stress response and brings the other human being back to a level of calm. So when I mentioned about saving the lecture for later, in the height of that emotional outburst, if we can bring our calming presence, help reduce that stress response, then once our child is in a calm state, we're regulated ourselves, then we can have that chat about what appropriate behavior looks like. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, there's far more chance of that chat registering with our child. Number five, and that's validate your child's feelings. Now, of course, it can be so hard to show compassion and empathy during these challenging moments, but by validating your child's feelings, it helps them to feel seen and heard. Now, it's a very important step to appreciate. You can absolutely say no to a behavior, but allow the feeling of frustration, of anger and upset, because as adults, we feel all those feelings because by validating these feelings, it will set them up for later on in life because it will allow them to identify all of those emotions and feelings in themselves, but it will also allow them to identify the emotions in other people, which goes a really long way in laying those foundations for emotional intelligence and setting them up for healthy relationships in the future. I really hope these tips help you to find your calm more often during these challenging moments. So give them a try next time your child is struggling with their emotions.